360 photos offer a unique interactive experience and today we're going to look at how to shoot these and go through the post-production process. The key element of a 360 photo of course is the location. It's sometimes challenging to find a spot with a full 360 degree view. Today we're at Queenstown Hill and it's not quite 360 but it's pretty close. What a stunning, stunning day, stunning place we live in. We don't live here actually. We're just visiting, but we used to live here and didn't appreciate it. Today we're going to be using the Nikon 8-15mm to lens. At 8mm it's a full 180 degree lens, allowing us to shoot a full 360 without having to shoot multiple rows. We've also got a couple of Sammy for lunch. And uh, we got the D750. 8mm, we should do some skiing show us. Hey. So I've set my camera exposure settings, a few things to check, like if you want to shoot in raw images, format your card, check your battery, clean your lens, make sure you're shooting in manual focus. To get the most out of your 360 with your wide 180 lens, frame the camera down as much as possible so you're just seeing the edge of your tripod legs. This way you know you're kind of covering as much area as you can. You can't do much about the shadows when shooting full 360 degree photos. So yeah, we're gonna show how we take them out in post as well. So you have the time lapse, video, panorama, turntable. Today, of course, we're gonna be using the panorama app. So the first thing we need to do here is input all our camera settings to the app. Uh, you can see here I've entered a full frame crop sensor. Um, setting my focal length, I'm gonna change this down to eight millimeters. And our aspect ratio is set to 3.2 and where orientation is landscape. Cool, so we know we want to do a 360 photo, so you can just choose the degrees in the app. I'm going to set 360. Overlap. We've found that around 50% is very handy later on in post-production, so I'm going to set this to around 50%. Photos is calculated off the camera settings you've already input. Your desired overlap and your degrees of rotation. Five photos is perfect for 360 degrees with my 50% overlap. Exposure time, this is the time for the Genie Mini to take the photo. Uh, so it just needs to be a little bit faster than your shutter speed. So I'm gonna select one second. Cool, so my uh, settings in the app are good to go. I'm ready to shoot my panorama. So we've shot our 360 photos. Another thing to think about is to get all the gear out of the way and find somewhere to sit out the way while the Genie Mini takes the photos. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here and we'll see you shortly when we go through how to stitch this together and do the post-production. Hey, those Sammys are not bad. Looking forward to it now. I've had a little teaser. Mmm, pretty good. Here is a look at the 360 photo we shot on Queenstown Hill. Click here or use the link in the description below to view the video covering the post-production process.